It's the fourth morning on board. We are planning to arrive um, in Mauritania today or late in the night. We're really looking forward to to be on shore again. I'm not able to sleep a lot. So our plan is to go to Mauritania and stay there a couple of days until we have a lighter wind to continue to Dakar. This is how to wash uh, hair in a small sailboat offshore, Nicole style. Finish. How do you feel? Ah, uh, you person happy. Oh, so clean. Da -da -da -da. So fresh, clean hair. Oh, so beautiful. I feel so much better. We have 77 miles to go. Condition is much much better. Just 17 knots of wind. I took a shower too, but not a planned one. That uh, was a wave. I had a shower. It completely hit me. I was sitting and reading. Luckily my e-reader is watertight. I'm completely wet. Look at this. It was so unexpected. It was just a huge wave crashing into the cockpit. Ay, caramba! It was just a small incident. No problem. And in our heads, we were already in Mauritania. Just 40 miles to go. Yoohoo! <laughs> After uh, midnight we'll be around the harbour area, then we have to find out where we can go. will be a long, long night. Soon the night is coming. We will uh, arrive in the night, which is not so good to arrive on a harbour for the first time in the night. Yeah, but what can we do? It's 12 o'clock in the night. We see land. We're so happy. The idea was rounding the Cap Blanche and then use the engine to go against the wind into the harbor. But soon we realize that there is way too much wind, current and waves against us. Our plan was to go to Mauritania, but we fighted one hour against the wind and the waves to get up into the harbor. And there is absolutely no chance. So probably we just go out to the sea, to the ocean again, direction Dakar. Or I don't know what we can do. As a souvenir from our expedition to Mauritania, we had a dead fish in our nets and the fishing line got stuck in our rudder. It was not a problem. We were able to get the line on board, to cut it and the piece in our rudder, we will get rid of it later when we are on anchor. The perfect breakfast with coffee! Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> it's the day after we almost visit Mauritania, but it didn't work out. Now we are on a direct course to um, Senegal. So far, everything is fine. We are a little bit tired. In three days, we'll probably be in Senegal.
It's a sailor's life, being offshore again, far from land. Mauritania behind and Senegal somewhere over the horizon. Just us, our biggest adventure. The mood is good on board of Mustang. We have a perfect sailing day. Perfect winds, about um, 10 knots, 10, 11 from behind. We are sailing with full sails. Sun is shining, the boat is running. More than five knots. No waves, flat ocean. Great. Yeah, it's day seven in the middle of the night. Nicole let me sleep for a couple of hours and uh, now it's my turn, night shift. Now we have a little bit less wind, 17 knots. Perfect. A small fishing boat came close to us. They were no pirates, just curious fishermen wandering about a strange looking sailing boat. They waved at us and we waved at them. A very nice encounter. They're very different kind of waves. Sometimes uh, there are regular waves, not that high, and then sudden higher waves, like a set of heavier waves are arriving, hitting the boat harder, huge steep waves. It's very strange and after that it's uh, like before again. I just eat the fruits when I prepare it on a plate, cut everything, otherwise you don't eat fruits and it's important now that we have a lot of vitamins. This will probably be the second last night of this trip. We had some uh, hours with uh, light winds or light winds, medium winds. So we were able to relax and uh, to enjoy sailing. 200 miles to go, two more days. One week at sea, uh, going crazy. Now you see how we trust the boat. We are sitting with the life vest <laughs> inside. <laughs> you never know. Day number eight. With the wind directly from behind, we set our small chip. Finally. Just a couple of miles to go. First we spotted fishing boats and then later we saw land. This has to be Dakar, Senegal.
running down the last 10 miles now with a good uh, wind from behind no more waves We arrived in Dakar, Senegal. Nicole and I. Yoohoo! 800 miles. More than 800 miles. Eight days. It was an epic, epic. We just uh, got to the land again. Strange feeling. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our channel, then please subscribe to it. And see you soon. What comes next? We are in a taxi in Senegal with uh, Osman. And he will uh, organize us everything. We are going to the police, to the custom. 